Hey guys, Majus here with another uh, <clears throat> Sony Vegas tutorial. Uh, it's title. Uh, this will be a title tutorial, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip right now. So that's what our uh, that's what our tutorial. I mean, that's what this tutorial is gonna be all about. It's gonna be a dissolve transition title. So right now I'm just gonna start a new a new file. HDV. Uh, sorry, 1280 by 720. Hit OK. All right, let's get started. First, go ahead and bang out. Two, three video tracks right away. Three video tracks right away. Okay. On the first video track, you're going to want to grab any background. doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, I usually use this one for most of my tutorials for you guys. I use this one I got off Brot Productions. I can link Brot Productions on the site. And on the right, right tab. Yeah, I can link that on the right. Um, Alright. So yeah, that's uh, the background right there. You're going to want that at... You're gonna drag and drop that for 10 seconds, and then you're gonna right-click, insert text media. Uh, I'll just close that so I don't lag as much. Insert text media. Type in what your desired name is, and make font. I usually make my font freak out go bananas because it's a really good font and it has pretty good impact. So, you're gonna grab, I'm just gonna make that large 216. And right now, I'm just gonna fade a little bit and fade off a little bit. Oh, this one you're gonna drag down to the second, the second video track. Make sure that's on the second video track. And then you're gonna want to go to edit generate media. Uh, why is this like uh, effects, draw shadow, pull shadow up to 400. So I have I like to have my shadow at 400 around there. Okay, so you're gonna want to do event pan to crop, event pan crop, on the first keyframe. You're gonna want to zoom all the way in on your center on your center of the thing. The center, the center, and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to. Oh wait, stay in event pan and crop. My bad. Then what you want to do is you're gonna want to go to the first one and a half second go to one and a half seconds and then you're going to want to just zoom out so it fits on the screen fits on the screen and that uh, should be right wait what the heck did I just do oh now I made an extra keyframe by accident sorry and then you want to click the last one and you're going to do the last keyframe, and you're just going to drag it over just a little bit to the left. So it has a nice little sliding effect going on. And that should be like that so far. And then you're going to want to go to video effects. Hmm, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, bump map. And you want to do spotlight up, flat. Drag that onto the background. Drag this down all the way. Pull this up a little bit. Pull this up a little bit, and it should look like that. Pull the uh, Z up to 1.647, and that should be good. Uh, right now, you're going to want to do that. It should look like that so far. Right, 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 right. Okay, so next you want to go to video effects, and then you're going to go to Gaussian blur, Gauss, Gaussian blur, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, and you're going to do extreme blur, and for the first, for the first of uh, the first keyframe, you're going to want to put it to zero, zero, and then on the four, uh, right on the right before the four seconds. 
right before the four seconds, you're going to want to do um, round. Oh, you want to have another default. Just make a new keyframe. Make sure it's at zero. And at the end, make your horizontal range to about one, uh, two point, no, point two oh six, and the other one to point two oh six. Yeah, point two oh six. Both of them to point two oh six, and that should look a little bit like this. And that's what it should look like so far. And then, now that that's that's pretty much the only hard part we have to do, now we have to do is Control C, copy this, and then pull this over here and paste on the top top layer. Create a new source. Always create a new source. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Edit Generated Media. And you're going to change this to P R E S E N T S. Presents. Yep, there you go. And then it should now look like hit, a slide, fade, a hit, and a slide, and a fade. And then what you want to do is you want to fade the background so it evens with the end of this. And you're going to want to throw. Let me see if I can find something. Where is it? Where the heck did it go? Oh, no, 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 no. Where did this go? Oh, God. Where did my little effect go? Oh, it's at transitions. Whoops. Go to transitions. Sorry, guys. Transitions, flash, and hit. And we'll do a hard, we'll do a soft flash. Click soft flash and drag that into your transitions. And it should look a little bit more professional. Oh, and don't forget to, uh, Fade both of your backgrounds. Uh, no, actually, don't fade. Fade the background with the uh, beginning title so it's even. So it should look like woo. And then uh, gush and blur. And then woo. And then uh, gush and blur. And then flash. And then you should get cut to your scene. Okay, so that was that's pretty much it for my uh, tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this hope this helped you guys out a little bit or a lot. Check the link in the sidebar for the background and for some more free, uh, free uh, templates for your videos. And that is all. Don't forget to subscribe to Majuice. More tutorials coming your way. And other random variety videos because that's how Majuice does it. Know what I mean?